Live, a Dayton lawmaker under fire. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katie Houston. I'm Jordan Burgess. Mark Allen is off tonight. Published reports indicate 39th District State Representative Clayton Lucky is about to be charged for unethical behavior. The Columbus Dispatch cites sources who say a criminal charge against Lucky is expected at any time. Now, the paper did not specify why. We called the Franklin County prosecutor today. He told us while he's working with the FBI on an investigation, he would not confirm or deny it involves Lucky. We also called Lucky today. He didn't answer his phones. The timing of this investigation could affect your vote in the November elections. Alexa Ashwell is live to explain why. Alexa. I spoke with Wright State political science professor Paul Leonard, who is also a former mayor of the city of Dayton. He tells me right now the Democratic Party is in a crunch, regardless of whether these accusations against Lucky hold true. And this is why Monday is the deadline for replacing candidates on the ballot for the general election this November. According to the Columbus Dispatch, Lucky says he is still running for re election. If he does not resign before the August 13th deadline and is indicted, the Democrats will. Will lose that seat to Lucky's Republican opponent. If Lucky chooses to resign before Monday, Democrats will have an opportunity to put someone else on the ballot. Professor Leonard says right now Democrats cannot afford to lose one seat in the Ohio legislature. As it stands, Republicans control the Ohio Supreme Court, both houses of the legislature, and of course, we have a Republican governor. Professor Leonard says Democrats would lose a strong voice in critical areas in Columbus without Lucky in office. Representative Lucky has two very important committee assignments in Columbus. He sits on the controlling board and he deals with issues involving education. Uh, it would be tough for us in Montgomery County to lose that seat um, because the replacement, whether it be a Republican or a Democrat, may not necessarily get those committee assignments depending on loyalty and seniority. And Professor Leonard adds battling this type of accusation is, quote, a high-risk strategy. He says often politicians in general are viewed as guilty until proven innocent. We, of course, will continue to dig for the truth in this matter. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.